Hey, what's going on? It's James here. How are you, Solar Family? Hopefully you're doing amazing. In this video, I wanna go over the fastest way you can get paid, right? Who doesn't wanna get paid fast, right? And a lot of these things, they're in your control, right? And some of them are out of your control, which is fine, but there's certain things that you can do to get paid a lot faster, right? So let me dive right into it. So a normal lead time from sign of contract to get paid, it varies, right? I'm gonna give you the lawyer terminology. My, my wife is a lawyer by trade, so I'm gonna give you the lawyer terminology. It varies, meaning that it could be 30 days or less, or it can be longer than that. So hopefully, you're gonna implement a lot of these things that I'm gonna teach you today so you can get paid a lot faster. And the reason why some uh, commissions get paid longer than others, it could be various things, right? I mean, first and foremost, it could be the, the state that you're in, right? It could be the city in that state, right? It could be the permitting department. It could be various things, right? Various things, or it could be the, the um, finance company, right? There, there could be different requirements for the finance company and how they're paying out their installation partners. So it varies. So keep in mind that it can take 30 days or even longer than that, because a lot of times, new consultants, they get a little misled, right? They see the big money, like, oh, I'm gonna make five, 10, $15,000 a deal, but they don't understand that there is a lead time. And I know that everybody has their own budget, right? To, you know, maybe pay for the mortgage, the rent, uh, you know, pay for the cell phone bill, the water bill, whatever that may be. And I know you have to plan for that. So I wanna set you up, you know, correctly. So keep in mind that it can take 30 plus days, uh, or it can take less than that. But before I dive into how to get paid faster, I just wanna go over how you get paid, right? So there's milestones, right? So there's milestones. Normally, there's an M1. The M just st stands for the milestone, right? There's milestone, milestone payment. Hopefully you guys can see this. Milestone. So M1, M1, is usually, usually about seven to 12 days, business days, after sign of contract, right? So keep that in mind, seven to 12 business days. It's not one of those uh, careers that, you know, you sell something right now and you're gonna get paid today. Or it's not like a W-2 where you can predict, right? Like if you get paid weekly, you know it's gonna come next week, right, next Friday. If you get paid bi-weekly, you know it's gonna come two Fridays from now. So it just varies on these things, right, that I talked about earlier. Uh, so keep in mind, the M1, milestone one could be seven to 12 business days. So this is how you can get paid faster than that, right, within that time frame, or even faster. First and foremost, make sure that you have all of the docs slash paperwork sign, right? Make sure all that's signed, because what I'm seeing with a lot of consultants is they get the uh, installation agreement signed, but they don't get the actual, you know, the, the, the finance portion signed, right, of the docs, or vice versa, right? They get the homeowner pre-approved, but they don't uh, get the homeowner to sign the install agreement. So there's normally two things the homeowner has to sign unless there's a co-signer, co right? There is a finance, right? The paperwork for the finance and there's an install agreement that they have to sign. Get both of those signed the same day, right? The same day that you're sitting down with a homeowner, don't come back, right? Because you already know if you have to come back, that chance of you closing that deal is gonna drop significantly. Right, so if the homeowner is super excited now, don't walk away or don't leave the house without them signing the paperwork. Everything has to be signed because this can delay your project significantly, right? Because not only that, they can cancel or they can change their mind. You can actually lose a project because of this, right? So make sure all the paperwork is signed. Secondly, 
stipulations. Make sure that you gather all of the stipulations because what happens is if there's stipulations, you don't want to come back again and this can delay your project, right? So if there's IDs that needs to be taken photos of, there's, there's like deeds or whatnot that needs to be taken photos of, if there's any mortgage statements that needs to be taken pictures of, make sure you gather all the information and the deal is clean and solid before you leave the house. Because again, if you don't gather all the stipulations, you leave the house and next thing you know, you're like, oh darn, you know what? We needed an ID. Then you gotta go back over there. You gotta call the homeowner, right? And be like, hey, can I come back to take a picture? Can you text it over? It just delays your project. And keep in mind that everything that you're doing here, right? As far as submitting a clean, clean job correctly can either get you paid faster or it can be longer, right? Because I know some consultants, they always blame the solar company or, or the uh, company that are working with like, I haven't got paid yet. My M1, it's been past seven to 12 days. And next thing you know, they checked that there's stipulations, there's paperwork that hasn't been signed or whatnot, right? So make sure before leaving the house, everything is signed, all the stipulation documents are signed as well. And here's another way you can get paid a lot faster. Keep in mind, it can be seven to 12 business days of sign a contract to get the M1, right? So to make it go a little faster, and again, this is gonna dictate uh, on which company you're working with, go ahead and perform, perform the site survey yourself. If you can do the site survey yourself, this is gonna uh, speed up the process, right? Because keep in mind, if the solar company has to do the site survey for you, that's gonna be 24 to 48 hours, right? From the sign of contract. And keep in mind as well, that can be a little bit further out. And sometimes it's not necessarily the company that delays the project because they could be calling your homeowner and your homeowner is just too busy to schedule the site survey. Because ideally that site survey should be done within 24 to 40 hours. And I honestly feel that solar companies do their due diligence to getting that, that site survey done between that time frame. But unfortunately, sometimes your homeowner is just busy, right? So imagine being able to perform the site survey yourself. This is gonna take maybe 10 to 15, even 20 minutes of your time taking pictures of rafters, you know, may, maybe measuring how far those raptors are, are apart, taking pictures of MPU, the roof, whatever the requirements are for that solar company to move the job forward. Imagine if it took you another 15 to 20 minutes to get the site survey done yourself, but it cut down, you know, 24 to 48 hours plus as far as you getting paid with your M1. And keep in mind, it's a ripple effect, right? If you can cut a couple of days in the front end because you're doing the site survey yourself, then it's gonna cut some days on the back end to get paid for the M2, right? So the second commission, it's called an M2, right? This can be 30 plus, right? I'm just gonna leave it as that, <laughs> right? 30 plus days after you sign a contract. And again, you have some power, right? And authority on how fast to get paid. And a lot of times new consultants, they leave it up to the solar company, I'm like, ah, oh, they got it. They're gonna reach out to the homeowner. They're gonna gather all the stipulations. If you do that, your company can be super busy or maybe their process is not that great. And now your homeowner is in queue for somebody to call them for a stipulation, but the process is not that good. Maybe it falls to wayside. And then next thing you know, it could be two, three weeks out. And because you're not on top of submitting a clean deal, now your job gets delayed, you know, two or three weeks. And then now we're pointing fingers at the solar company, install partner, whoever that may be. But again, you could have probably gotten a lot of this paperwork done ahead of time so you can get paid a lot faster. Take charge and ownership of your job, right? It's nice to have support. Maybe you have a concierge, but I never completely depend on them. I take responsibility of all my jobs because again, I gotta put food on the table for my family, right? It's, I don't wanna uh, have somebody else be responsible whether or not my family gets fed 
because you know they got a lot of paperwork and, or whatnot in queue and I'm not sure if I'm next in that queue. So make sure you take ownership, right? So back to M2. This can be 30 plus days out, right? I seen it out till, you know, it could be four months out. It just depends again of all those factors I talked about at the beginning and how clean you're submitting your job. Because again, if you wanna get paid faster, make sure that you're submitting a clean job, right? That's the moral of this whole entire video, right? You wanna get paid faster. There are certain things that are out of your control. Permitting, the lead time, things like that are out of your control. You can't control that. But you can control gathering, you know, the, making sure that they signed the, all the paperwork, all of the paperwork, uh, make sure the stipulations are all gathered in case they need one, and just grab the ID anyway, right? Even if you, your finance company is not asking for an ID, just take a picture of the ID anyway, right? It's also a good take, idea to also take a picture of the deeds and things like that, just in case, right? Just in case the finance company comes back later, hey, I need this paperwork, you already did it ahead of time. And also the site survey, if you can do that on your own, this is gonna cut days on your M1 as far as receiving your M1, and it's also gonna cut days, maybe in a week or two, as far as getting all the M2s paid out as well, right? So there's a few things here that could hang up an M2, right? And keep in mind that you need to talk to your solar company about this. And the main thing I honestly feel that's hanging up M2s is the PTO, right? permission to operate. You need to find out with your solar company, when do you get paid? Is it seven to 10 business days after the system's installed? Or do you have to wait to PTO? Because if it's seven to 10 business days to get installed, that's about the standard in industry. But there are some solar companies that are gonna wait until PTO. Meaning that after the seven to 10 business days passes, it may be longer than that because they have to wait for the city to approve and turn the system on, right? Turn the system on before you get paid. So that's another reason why you need to really understand like what is my commission structure look like? When am I getting paid? There are certain things that are out of your control, but if you're waiting for a PTO for the system that you turn on, Again, that can drag out the process. Instead of getting paid within 30, you know, 30 to 40 days or whatnot for M2, this can add another month, right? Another four weeks, six weeks on top of you getting paid as far as your M2. So hopefully that makes sense. And again, if you want to get paid faster in the solar industry, make sure that you know the process, right? Make sure you know that you're closing the deals and all the paperwork signed, all the stipulations gathered. And if you can, if you can perform your own site survey, go ahead and do so. It is gonna take up a little bit more of your time in the front end, maybe 15, 20 minutes of your time, but it's gonna cut you know, days or even weeks as far as the M1 getting paid and as far as how fast your M2 will get paid, right? So hopefully that all makes sense to you. So if you wanna dive in deeper, maybe you're new in the solar industry, or maybe you wanna get in the solar industry. If you need sales, marketing, training, make sure you book your free solar strategy call. It's gonna be a pop-up right above this video. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace.